Our new home here on the Space Coast is anchored right here at Launch Complex 36. During its 43 years of service, there were 145 launches that thundered into space from here. The Mariner missions, the first U.S. spacecraft to visit other planets, lifted off from right here. So did Pioneer 10, the first spacecraft to travel through the asteroid belt. Surveyor 1, the first uh, spacecraft to land softly on the moon from the U.S., and lots of weather, communications, and national defense payloads hopped their rides to space from Complex 36. The site saw its last launch in 2005, and the pad has stood silent for more than 10 years. Too long. We can't wait to fix that. <laughs> One of the unique things about what we're going to do here in Florida, we're not just launching from here, we're building here. At Exploration Park, we'll have a 21st century production facility where we'll focus on manufacturing our reusable fleet of orbital launchers and readying them for flight again and again. Locating the vehicle assembly near our launch site makes it way easier to process and transport really big rockets. We'll be launching from here later this decade and you'll hear us before you'll see us because our American-made BE-4 engine, the power behind our orbital launch vehicle, will be acceptance tested here. Our BE-4 engine will also help make history as it powers the first flight of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. You residents of the Space Coast have enjoyed front row seats to the future for almost 60 years. That's pretty cool. And our team's passion for pioneering is the perfect fit for a community dedicated to forging new frontiers. Please keep watching. Thank you.